Now there are two kinds of clustering algorithms broadly speaking. There are flat algorithms and what they do is they take your entire document collection and then divide the collection into a fixed number of clusters, k clusters. Okay, so it's a flat clustering in that if you have a set of points then it'll and let's say k is equal to 5 then it'll just create 5 clusters at the end of it each document will lie in uh, one of these 5 clusters so there's no notion of hierarchy between these clusters okay so it's a flat uh, clustering so flat algorithms one of which we'll see uh, in this particular lecture it's going to be called as k means clustering k means clustering is one of the popular clustering algorithms that we'll see uh, we're not going to talk about model based clustering so an algorithm like k means clustering will start off by randomly defining these k clusters so this k in k means clustering corresponds to the a priori fixed value for the number of clusters you want to have at the end. So you want to have k clusters at the end. So initially you'll start off by randomly starting with you know k clusters and you'll assign different documents to one of these k clusters in, in a way that I'll describe uh, in a few minutes. But assuming that you start off with this random cluster of uh, size k of, of number k you will then uh, we will then try to shift documents across clusters so that at the end these k clusters will contain documents that are semantically similar okay so we'll keep we'll refine iteratively what documents actually belong to those k clusters so that's flat algorithm that, that's fl that's an example of a flat clustering algorithm hierarchical algorithms are algorithms where you also have the you have the explicit notion of a hierarchy okay so you will cluster your documents into a certain number of clusters and then you will group together those clusters in turn into larger clusters and so on to finally have a hierarchy now you can do this bottom up in the way i just described so bottom up hierarchical clustering is also called as agglomerative clustering or you could do this top down you could decide that i'm going to have three super clusters initially and then once i divide the whole collection into three clusters then i'll look at each class each of those three large clusters and then decide to divide each of them into three or four more sub clusters so i could go top down and at the end we would again have each, you know a set of clusters but then you know arranged in a hierarchy instead of being flat Another way to define, uh, another way to classify clustering algorithms is hard versus soft clustering. In hard clustering, each document belongs to exactly one cluster. Okay, and that's what we are going to do in this course. We are not going to deal with soft clustering at all. Soft clustering is when a document can belong to more than one cluster. Okay, so there is no single cluster to which a document belongs we could say that it belongs to this cluster with a probability of 60 percent it belongs to that cluster with a probability of 40 percent and there could be documents like that whose whose cluster may not be well defined for example um, if there's a document dealing with sneakers it could fall into two clusters one cluster corresponding to sports documents sports apparel and the other corresponding to shoes okay so we are not going to talk about soft clustering we are going to assume that each document falls into one and only one cluster so let's look at the so i said that we're going to look at two different kinds of clustering algorithms k means algorithm k means clustering Okay, which, is, which is an example of flat clustering and hierarchical clustering specifically 
a bottom of hierarchical clustering which I called as or, or which this slide called as agglomerative clustering agglomerative clustering okay, so these are the two algorithms we are going to see we will first look at k-means clustering 